Hello my kindergarten friends! I'm very excited for this project this week. It is fall inspired. As you can tell the weather has gotten colder, the leaves are starting to change, and at the grocery store there's pumpkins. This week we are making our very own pumpkins. I'm going to show you how to draw 3D pumpkins. Pumpkins that look like they're real life. And then we are going to practice coloring them in nice and neat with crayons. What makes a pumpkin 3D is the lines that we will draw. So we have straight lines and then they get a little bit curved and a little bit curved. Here I have a pumpkin. It's not a real pumpkin. But it's nice because it has the lines if you look closely. And so in the middle they're straight and then they get curved and curved and really curved. When we are drawing our lines, I want you to think of spaghetti noodles. So the first spaghetti noodle is when they're not cooked at all. And then the second one will be when they're a little bit cooked, they get a little bit more uh, wiggly and then they get even more and even more. And when your noodles are all the way done cooked, they're really curved. Let's get into drawing our pumpkin. Supplies you will need will be paper, pencil, eraser, sharpie, and then orange crayons, green crayons, and brown crayons. So we're going to start off with our fingers at the top of the page. We're going to slowly drag them down at the same time and then bring them into the middle. Put a dot where your finger is and we're going to do the same thing but coming up from the bottom. We're going to go up slowly and come in. Then we have two dots. Once we have the two dots, we are going to take our pencil and draw a line from the top to the bottom. And this line should be fairly straight. If you remember what I was talking about, the, the spaghetti, it should be straight. And then we are going to add curved lines that get a little bit more curved, just like cooked spaghetti. It gets a little bit more flexible and more flexible and more and more. You can decide if you want a really big pumpkin you can do a lot of lines or if you want a smaller one you could just do a few lines. So the next step is the top of the pumpkin and that is it looks like a top hat but you're gonna do a rectangle and then I'm gonna zoom in because this is tricky. We're gonna do the letter V in the space of each of those lines. Once we have our top in, we are going to erase those lines inside because the top is not see-through. Once we have erased those lines inside the top, we are going to use our Sharpie. And when you use the Sharpie, the cap goes on the back and we drive nice and slow. We pretend like we are driving grandma because grandma likes it when we drive nice and slow, not too fast. And we are going to, going to just drive on the road. So just on our pencil lines is the road. We're doing it very carefully. This is fast forward so please remember to take your time. When you are all done with the Sharpie, make sure you put the cap on nice and tight. The next step is a secret step because a lot of people don't notice it, but it makes a big difference. We are going to go and erase the whole pumpkin. So that means we'll just be erasing the pencil lines, but not the Sharpie lines. The crayons you can use to color in your pumpkin are orange, yellow orange and red orange. These are all types of orange. Before we start to color I'd like to tell you and talk to you about how I would like you to color. So you don't have to do these squares um, these are just an example. So if you see the first one, the frowny face, that person just scribbled and then the middle one they didn't stay inside the lines. I want you to do it nice and neat and fill up as many white spaces as you can and that makes me happy. So to color in our pumpkin, this is fast forward, please take your time. 
you are just going to color each part, each of those shapes, and not miss any white spaces. The orange of your pumpkin is all colored in. You can color in the top, green or brown. Ooh, we did it, we drew our pumpkin. Way to go. Make sure you take a photo of this and post it onto our Seesaw or Google Classroom. I cannot wait to see what you do. Bye!